Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 here to do the collective's reading for this weekly. It will be from January 6th through January 12th, 2020. Okay, so that's January 6th through January 12th, 2020 this week. Happy New Year again, everybody. Thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate every subscriber, every viewer, every person. I hope you are all blessed. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you like. Also, if you want a reading, I do chat, I do email, and I do phone readings, of course. Um, if you like, please read the description box below. If you have any questions, my email is below as well. If you want to send a donation, that's always welcome and greatly appreciated. Blessings to all of you. Hope everybody's having a great start of the new year. So before I start, let's start with the pre-messages. I got the strength card twice, okay? So stand in your courage, stand in your strength. Some of you might be tried. Somebody might be in competition with you this week or upcoming or have been. Stand in your strength. Show your character. Be assertive, not aggressive. Put your best foot forward. Continue to use your morals and your values. And um, know that you have the courage and the strength. You may have to exercise some patience. And um, just know that I see some wonderful things ahead for you guys, some wonderful opportunities. It's coming to me strongly that everybody should remain positive. Okay? Remain positive. So it's the new year, and without further ado, let's jump right in. So you guys know when I do the the weeklies, I usually just do um, my Oceana Tarot deck. So let me cut it in half. The cards have already been preyed upon. And um, yeah, let's go. So we'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Who knows? I may add a love and light card, but typically I just do this deck. You guys know that I don't do reversals and I don't do um, signs as of yet. I don't know if I will in the future, but just know um, I just choose not to at this time. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. You guys have the judgment card. Wow. Okay. So this card means to stay prayed up. Listen to your angels. Talk to them. Pray to God, pray to angels, talk to your spirit guides, your family, friends, and ancestors. But your angels and spirit is close to you at this time. They're always there, but super close to you right now. Please uh, talk to them. Be clear about what you want and what you don't. Focus on what you do want is what I'm getting. Focus on what you want, what you want to see, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your wishes, your fulfillments, what makes you happy, what you need. Focus on those needs and those wants. What I'm seeing is um, somebody is coming back from the past. Somebody is apologetic. Somebody who probably done you wrong. Someone who was disrespectful, deceitful. They didn't tell the truth. Um, or they just miss you. Somebody definitely miss you and they're coming back. They want your forgiveness is what I'm seeing. And um, I say forgive everybody, but you do not have to reconcile with everybody. That is always a personal choice. But God forgives us. Who are we not to forgive? So I, I do believe it is a peacefulness in our hearts and souls when we forgive but sometimes forgiving is forgiving in our heart and wishing these people well praying for them and moving forward but use your own discernment do what you feel is best and just know someone's coming back your angels are close to you i feel like something's going to be revealed so you may get a phone call you may get an email a text or some type of message but someone from the past is coming back and um also for those of you who are reflecting on your own past, you need to pass mistakes, especially with this being a new year. We all usually come up with new year resolutions or things we want to do differently. Definitely reflect on lessons that you've learned, um, new things that you're taking with you, new concepts, anything that you've learned, any new wisdom that you've acquired. Go forward with the new new, okay? Leave the past negativity behind. We're going to focus on positivity, positivity and Remain, remain positive because that's where it's at. That's what life is about, being positive, getting to a happier, better, peaceful place. Okay? So, yeah, somebody's coming back in. Let's see what we have for Monday. Wow, a new beginning. You guys have the full. So we're starting with two arcanas. On the bottom, we have the judgment. And Monday, we have the full. Some of you have a beautiful new beginning ahead. And like I said, let's look forward to new things, wonderful things coming in, staying positive and focus on our dreams and our wishes. You may want to write a list of things that you want to do. You may intuitively know already what you should be doing or what you plan to do. What I would say is look at that list, look at that vision board, 
look at you know that portfolio or whatever that you have that you've been wanting to do starting that business this is the green light go for it this is this is your spirit guides and spirit saying go for it take that leap of faith take that leap of faith but don't be a fool see things with your eyes wide open but know it's okay to take a positive risk Okay, go forward. There's beautiful things coming to you. Oh, I love that. That's the start. Let's look at Tuesday. Okay, so the Seven of Swords. So somebody definitely took a loss. Somebody was deceptive. Somebody didn't tell the truth. And that goes back to that judgment card. Somebody wants that forgiveness. Use your own discernment, your intuition. Listen to family and friends, people that you trust. And overall, God, spirit is number one. So I'm not going to even hold this card up very long. There's somebody who was deceitful and dishonest, they were either stealing your time or your money or both, or they just, they weren't good to you. Is what I'm saying. This was somebody who was a disappointment and you're using your intuition. You know who this person is, or you will, it'll be revealed. This card does not come off very, come out very often. Thank God. But, um, this person is a loss to you. I'd leave them behind in 2019. Forget, you know, them. Uh, pray for them and move forward is what I'm saying. Because, this person didn't serve your highest purpose. They didn't serve your highest good. They didn't help you get from point A to B. They were a detriment to you. They weren't good for your life. And you may not even have like physical proof. Then again, you might. But I'm just saying, if you don't, don't accuse anybody without having that proof. But listen to your intuition. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it right there. Wednesday, you guys have the page of wands. You see that? Express yourself. Look at... Anything that you're creative with, it could be drawing, writing, painting, it could be music, it could be some type of artistic pursuit, it could be, like I said, just a new business, a new endeavor. Go for it with it and be yourself is what I'm getting. You look at look at all the things that you could do, pick and go for it. Be creative, have fun, let your true self shine through, express yourself to the fullest, go forward, take that leap of faith, try it. Because I feel like it's going to be successful. Stay prayed up. Always. Thursday. Look at this. Beautiful. Major icon of the world. This card does not come out very often. I'm hoping it's one of my thumbnails. That'd be cool. Um, basically, the world is your oyster. Things are spinning in your direction. Go with the flow of life. Appreciate all friendships. Relationships. Appreciate anything that you've done well because you have new opportunities coming in this is why you have that fool take that leap of faith focus on your creativity and your goals focus on any wishes focus on any new thing that you want to do and do it get to work and don't forget to celebrate and appreciate your accomplishments of the things that you have done some of you guys have earned degrees or you're in the process of getting some type of entrepreneurship or some type of um some type of leveling up you've worked hard I, I, i'm saying this heavy a lot of you have worked super hard and the rewards are coming go with the flow go forward this looks good i love to see the world card things are spinning and going in your direction yes lord friday look at this four swords so some of you guys have worked so hard to get to where you are or where you're going and some of you guys need to take a rest, take a break. Re remember to replenish yourself. Um, this is a very, I'm very connected to this card. This card has a lot of symbolism for me. This card means a lot to me. It reminds me to take a rest and to take breaks and to go to sleep and get to bed on time and take care of myself and replenish myself and nourish myself. So I'm advising you guys to do the same thing. Okay, collectives, take care of you. Get your hair done. Go take a break, take a nap, take a longer bath than usual. Just make sure you're safe, whatever you do, okay? But yes, it's time to take a break. It's time to rest. It's time to replenish. It, that also reminds me of the world card too. Like you guys have worked so hard. Some of you guys need a break. And I know some of you have had a little small vacation or a small break, you know, for this new year. But it, sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes you need that cat nap or sometimes you need to just tell yourself, you know what, I'm just going to lie, lie down in bed and just relax for a minute because you just need to. Saturday, look at this. Page of Pentacles. You guys are the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. This lets me know that you guys have opportunities coming. Major opportunities coming. And you need to be prepared and ready for them because they're coming in. 
and there are going to be people that are going to try to compete for your job or for your position or your title, but you're going to own it is what I'm seeing because you put the work in and you deserve it. I feel like this year is going to have a lot of blessings, a lot of balance, good and negative karma, but we're going to focus on the good. For those who did good, it's coming back to you. For those who didn't, there's lessons to be learned. So you focus on your opportunities. It could be a move. I'm seeing a lot of financial opportunities and I feel like it's coming in fast. These are fast opportunities. Things are turning in your favor and they're about to move and take off. This year, I'm seeing things speed up. Things are about to happen. So pay attention and be safe. That keeps coming to me that everybody needs to be safe. Sunday. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Queen of the ocean. You guys got the emperor. What a beautiful spread, you guys. Beautiful spread overall. We're leaving negativity, moving forward to positivity. She's not just beautiful, but gorgeous. She embodies all the queens. She is abundance. You guys have the world. You guys have oppor have opportunities, creativities, new beginning, new start, things going your direction, your way. This is beautiful. This person is very nourishing. Like I said, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Love your families. Be good to the children. Nourish them. Provide them what they need. But don't forget to take care of you because you're glowing. You're amazing. You're magnificent. You're abundant. This is a fertility card as well. She's very motherly, very nurturing. She takes care of home. She's that wife figure that you want. And remember when we're talking about women or wives or husbands or spouses, the energy can be interchangeable. Take it how it resonates for you. The collectives, allow your light to shine bright. Focus heavy on, I'm seeing brilliant creativity. It is time to push those new works and efforts out. Push them. This is the time. This is the year. Go get what's yours. Go get it. Beautiful, because things are going to be abundant. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. She's amazing. And for those who are expecting, congratulations. May you have a peaceful and happy, blessed pregnancy and delivery. For those fathers out there or spouses or parents or mothers or wives and sisters and cousins and aunts and everybody, be the best that you can be because it takes a village to raise that child. Congratulations to the entire family and to all families. This isn't just pregnant with children. This is pregnant with ideas. And this is making them manifest. I saw that magician. You can make it happen. She's beautiful. Very nurturing, very loving. That's the ideal partner. That's what you want. That person's coming in. I'm going to pick um, an angel message just because I'm inclined. I saw Remain Positive before. I did this reading, so a message for the collective from January 6th through the 12th. Big happy changes. Look at that. Boom. That's what you want to see. Happiness, peace, prosperity, love, the new home, the new job, elevating, leveling up. That's what we want. Thank you, God. And you guys know I typically don't do mixed messages for, um, or different cards, rather, for my weekly reading but I'm inclined to today so I'm going to I'm also going to do one more I'm going to do a love and light let's do a love and light let's get a message please spirit for the collectives for January 6th through January 12th two came out so I'm taking them with God all things are possible look at that light I'm going to read the verse, this is Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. If you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. God is the miracle worker. Bless yourself, bless each other, and receive blessings from God. It's coming in. God is going to do all things. And look here, God will lead the way. Does it get any better? This verse is from Romans chapter 15, verse 9. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's spirit. God will lead the way. And as you can see in this picture, I know my lighting isn't the best today. I'm sorry. But if you can see in this picture, there's darkness around her. It's like faded, kind of yellow, brownish. And then you see this blue, clear skies. This is God lighting the way for us all. 
Be thankful to God. Be thankful to each other. Be thankful for everything that you have, for every blessing and for every lesson and for the courage to still be standing. Go forward, remain positive and know that God got us all. Spirit is with us. God bless you all. This was your reading. I hope everybody have happiness, peace, love, joy, blessings, and abundance. Bye, y'all.